guys so welcome back so for today's recipe I'm gonna show you how I make my crepe um, so you know what crepe is some people say crepe or crepe but I say crepes all right so what it is is a flat version a flatter version of a pancake so for this crepe recipe I'm gonna use berries and ricotta cheese the ricotta cheese is for the stuffing and the berries to just you know just Put on top of it it's gonna be so delicious and after you watch this video I want you to try this recipe all right so now I'm ready to show you all my ingredients so guys so here are our recipe our ingredient for our crepe recipe all right so here I have half cup of flour all-purpose flour half cup plus one tablespoon of flour here I have an egg I added about half teaspoon of vanilla to it all right, you don't need to add the vanilla, but you know I love more spice, so I added vanilla, half teaspoon. Here I have one cup of milk. You can use whole milk or 2% milk, whatever milk you usually, you know, you have in your fridge, you can use. Here I have a teaspoon of canola oil or vegetable oil, whatever oil you have, you can use. And here I have zest of an orange, and I have, this is about tablespoon of zest um, you can use a teaspoon or a tablespoon but I chose to use a tablespoon and here I have half teaspoon of salt and you're gonna need your blender and later on I'm gonna show you the pan that I'm gonna I'm gonna cook my crepe in all right so now we just got to put just put all your ingredient all this ingredient here into your blender okay and we still gotta make our berry kind of our berry sauce for our crepes and also our, our ricotta cheese but this part I'm gonna show you first so all this we're gonna blend together in the blender and after finish blending we're gonna chill in the fridge for minimum two hours maximum eight hours okay so here we go guys all right here's our blender okay so first of all we're gonna add our flour blender. Then we're gonna add our orange zest. There it is. Then our salt. Then, oops, oops, I'm spilling the milk. I'm spilling the milk. Then our milk. Then our oil. And then our egg. See how simple this batter is, guys? And then, see I'm holding the camera with one hand. Okay, guys, and then our lid for our blender. And now we're gonna blend away. Okay, guys, so we need to blend this batter until it's nice and smooth, okay? So I think Maybe about two, three minutes until it's nice and smooth. Okay guys, so I finished blending the mixture and this is exactly the consistency you need. Okay, so now after you finish blending, you need to pour it into a bowl and it goes in the fridge for, as I said, two to eight, two to eight hours, all right? So there it is. There it is. And guys, you wouldn't believe this looks like a small amount of um, batter, but crepe, crepes are real thin. So this will probably make, I say, around maybe 10, 8 to 10. So guys, so this is what our crepe um, mixture looks like. It's been chilling for 8 hours. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's thinner than a pancake mix. Okay, so the reason is because you know crepes you need it to spread in the in the pan very thin so at this consistency it is perfect for that okay so we have our crepe batter there and I'll show you the other ingredients okay so here we have our fruits that's for the topping of the crepe to top our crepes with and this is our ricotta our ricotta mixture a ricotta mixture okay so I added a, one tablespoon of sugar granulated sugar in this in this mixture okay I still got to mix it up a bit this is the ricotta cheese I use guys so that's ricotta cheese and here we have lemon juice we have lemon juice so um, 
I'm gonna add one tablespoon of lemon juice on the fruits and there I have my granulated sugar so it's gonna be two tablespoons of sugar plus one one tablespoon of um, lemon juice okay so that's gonna bring out the flavor for the fruits for our fresh fruits and it's gonna be nice and tart and it's just gonna be delicious okay guys so I forgot to mention to you the pan that we're using to make our crepes in so this is the one I'm using I also use this sometimes for pancakes or even if you're making roti this is a perfect pan to use okay so this one you can pick it up I picked up this one from Walmart years ago I don't know if they're still carrying it but this pan here is perfect guys okay so now I'm ready to put the crepe um, to make our crepes okay guys so here I forgot to show you okay I wanted to show you how you mix your ricotta cheese with your sugar so remember there's one tablespoon of sugar in here with one cup of ricotta cheese all right, so you need it to you need to mix it until it's smooth, until it's real smooth because this is going to be the filling for your crepe. Okay, and you can also fill your crepe with Nutella or something savory. All right, but we're going to be using ricotta today. Okay, guys, so I'm also going to show you how to mix the um, the sugar with the fruits. And you also need your lemon juice okay so you need one about one uh, teaspoon of lemon juice on there one whole teaspoon and two teaspoon two tablespoon of sugar okay so there's your sugar if you want less you can use less or if you don't want to add sugar that's okay <clears throat> that's okay guys so but remember that there's no sugar in your um, crepe mixture so that's why you know the, the tart and the sweet brings out you know makes it uh, it brings out the flavor okay so that's it for your fruits just your lemon juice and your sugar where it is okay we're gonna set this aside okay guys so now we're ready to start um, making our crepe so you're gonna need melted butter so maybe, you know, half a cup of melted butter or a little less than that will um, will do to make your whole crepe mixture, okay? And you need a brush so we can brush on the butter onto the pan. Okay, so there we go. And now we're gonna pour our mixture into this. You're gonna need a fourth cup measurement, okay? And here we go. Gotta work fast, guys, because you want to spread this you can do it slowly I remember your first one is probably gonna be the ugliest one okay you got it you you kind of get the swing of things by the second or third one okay see this one is not a perfect roundness but the third one I'm gonna put more batter in the pan okay and you need it say like 30 seconds on each side okay you want it nice and like a light brown on each side okay as I said this one's not a perfect circle but let's try for the third one to see how that's gonna be okay guys so now we're pouring the second one butter it up a bit let me work fast this one there that's perfect I actually added more batter to the pan because my pan is so big so I'm using half cup of batter okay guys so now I'm ready to flip this one wish me luck yep perfect perfect look at that So here it is guys I finished all the crepes they're ready now to be filled and dust with and also topped with this with all these fresh fruits so guys here are our crepes here they are look how thin and beautiful they are so now I'm gonna put them together so here we go guys so first of course you need your crepe okay I have our ricotta mixture here doesn't it look delicious already okay so basically you just spread it on see you just spread it on okay just sp 
spread the mixture all over your crepe and trust me guys you are gonna want more after you try this so delicious perfect perfect elegant looking dessert okay so let's put a little bit more so I'd say you put about what a tablespoon and a half yeah in the middle I should probably use a bigger plate for this okay so now what you're gonna do is just fold it in half and then fold it in a quarter so you want it to look like that okay and now what we're gonna do take your fruits okay let's try and set this properly I think I have a taste tester here guys okay so basically you just put your fruits on see like that put a bit of fruits and then we are gonna dust it there guys look at that isn't that beautiful well, guys here it is and I have a taste tester I gotta work fast okay <laughs> Kristen's taste tested Hello. for us. She's on her way to work, Glad but she's work. taking yeah, so she's taking time to do this for us. Ooh, this looks good. Let's see. It's a big bite. Yeah, that's okay. Mm. What do you think, Kristen? Delicious? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The ricotta cheese and then the sweetness of everything. Yeah. So do you think this one's a hit for this dessert? Hit. Oh <laughs> it's my not gosh. A, yeah. This is so good. Woo. Take one more bite of the yeah, fruit. Mm. Great. Thank yeah. you guys. Oh. I gotta go to work. Yeah. <laughs> and, but I'm gonna finish this quickly. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and try this recipe. It's super easy and it's so good. Thank Bye. you, Kristen. Bye.